Patrol, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you want it into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Yeah? Last person who said that was Rake. So you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Commander Ikonde runs a tight ship, so I suggest we be on our best behavior. I had a friend on the Magana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. Okay. Hello. Howdy. You have permission to speak freely. We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. 
Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. But a gamble that hopefully paid off. On that note, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. United Colony System Defense at your service. Liked me? Sure. <laughs> Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> but I think he would have liked the man I grew into.
an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Never apologize. Not if you want anyone in the fleet to respect you. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But, all that aside, you made it. So now... You get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Hell yeah it is. Just watch it back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. We'll be certain to keep a close watch on our belongings. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, Key, uh, cute, huh? Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galact Talk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. 
Did they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Cricks is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are key. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot world, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just blinding because she thinks she bought some kind of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints, Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. On the right, you've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here, is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? 
I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind, and a certain degree of safety. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Entry into Carter's Bay doors have been... Of course, when the tour is over. Ah! Eris are other new recruits. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. If dealing with the Ragana was at the limit of your capabilities, then you have a serious problem on your hands. You are already in too deep to quit. And I can promise you, it only gets more difficult from here. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. 
I am impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that record, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. I don't know about you, but I think the welcome... You might find a deal or two here. If you can overlook the spatters of blood covering all the stolen goods. LA. <laughs> of course. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. sell a little bit of everything, but only if it's hard to find, and only for a high price. Neuroamps, a few unique resources, maybe a specialized weapon or two, anything that's rare and in high demand. Come back and see me sometime. Need something? 
Please tell me you know exactly what... This better be worth it. We're done here? Great. So there I am, the UC security on my tail. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up, as long as your credits are good. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled, we sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must have in my book. Just let me know when you wanna talk business. No. But just remember, I don't work for free. Oh, yeah, nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again.
Release. We're free to fly. 